So according to our question, they want us to determine the price index for 2005 part 2 using purchase method. In the previous video, we looked at the first method, which is last pay else. So we are going to look at purchase method. Yeah. So for purchase price index, we use the formula summation Q1. P1 out of summation Q1 P0 times 100. Yeah, we, we, we saw it in, in one of the videos in the formulas that we had. It is here. Purchase price index. It is summation Q1 P1 out of summation Q1 P0 times 100. It is the formula that we, we are supposed to use. So this is the formula. After that, we draw the table. The table, of course, the first thing we are supposed to put there is commodity. Commodity, we get it straight from the question, the way it was. In the question, they gave us butter, put it there, milk, eggs, fruits, vegetables, you put them there. Then, according to our formula, we need to have Q1, P1, and then P0, we need to have them. So we look out for them in the question. We say the price for 2004, since it's the best year, it is the P0, and the quantity is the Q0. For 2005, it is P1 and then Q1. So we need P0. We come here and get it the way it is 2000, 2000, 1500, 1500. 5,000, 5,000, like that, the way it is. Then we need P, P1, which is for the current year, 2005. It is, it is here. We get it from here and we put it in the table, the way it is. After that, we need Q1. Q1, it is the quantity for the current year, which is here. So we get it from... The question, the way it is, 26, 41, like that. Yeah. Then, these are the things that we need to calculate the price index using purchase method. Yeah. Then, according to the method, we need to have Q1 and then P1. So, we, we put the column for Q1, P1. We need to have Q1, P0. We put the column for Q1 P0. Yeah. So we shall be multiplying. So in order for us to get Q1 P1, we simply multiply Q1 times P1. So it is 2500 times 26. We get 65,000 is what we put here. Then the next one, it is 2,000 times 41. 2,000 times 41, which is 82,000 is what we put here. The last one is 1,500 times 13. 1,500 times 13. It is 19500. It's what we put here. Yeah, even for these two, you do the same. Yeah, then Q1 P0, we multiply Q1 times P0. So the first one, it is 2000 times 26. 2000 times 26, which is 52,000. What we put here, then the last one 1000 times 13. 1000 times 13, which is 13,000. It's what we put there. So we do the same thing for the rest of the commodities. Yeah, then after that, we need to get summation Q1, P1. We add all of these to get this. Then we need summation Q1, P0, we add all these to get this. 
yeah. after that we, we come to our formula we say price index according to purchase is summation q1 q1 out of summation q1 p0 times 100 so we already have summation q1 p1 it is here so we get it and substitute it then we have this it is here we get it and substitute it yeah so after substituting we multiply by a hundred yeah. so what we get let me put it in the calc it is two nine four zero 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 divide by two one one five hundred it is one point three nine zero then times a hundred it is one thirty nine so the price index is 139 percent and we say the normal price index so the base eight is 100 so it increased from 100 to 139 therefore there was an increase of 39 percent yeah, so prices of commodities increased by 39 percent in 2005 compared to 2004 according to purchase according to purchase price index so this is how we calculate for price index using purchase method thanks for watching